how to create a horizontal calendar to sell on Amazon or Etsy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a horizontal calendar for free on Canva and start selling on Amazon and Etsy for some passive income. So let's get into it. First off, you're going to head on over to Canva and this is the Canva homepage. As you can see on the right over here, it says custom size and you're going to click on that and you're going to see what size you want to opt for. If you want to create the 8.5 by 11 inch calendar, you're actually just going to reverse the measurement. So in the width, you're going to put in 11 inches and in the height, you're gonna put in eight inches. And make sure you change it from pixels into inches because the default is usually pixels. So we're gonna put 11 inches by 8.5 and you're gonna click on create new design. Now, once you have entered that, you're gonna be greeted with your blank canvas and you're gonna start off designing your calendar. So it's very easy. I'm gonna zoom in a bit into my canvas so you guys can clearly see what I'm gonna be doing. And you can replicate this design. It's very easy to do. So on the left, you can see you have templates, elements, uploads, text, and more. You're gonna click on elements. And on the elements home screen, it's going to load these shapes over here. So you can see you have your recently used, your graphics, photos, but on lines and shapes, you're going to click on see all or just click on the square. You're just going to select the square and then you're going to resize it. So I'm going to go for a one width and one height. So you can actually go smaller and I'm going to place it right here. So you know the purple guideline square that is appearing or the purple guideline rectangle, you're going to place it on the edge of that and make sure it's not outside that because sometimes it can look a bit off. Uh, this is just something I prefer to do. You can do it as you like. You can customize your design to your liking. This is just a better standard design that I would opt for. I'm going to make it 0 0.9 and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this square. I'm going to select the square and I'm going to copy it. So it's just going to be control C and control V. I'm going to select the square. I'm going to click on control C and then control V. And you can see I've copied my little square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it ahead like so. And I'm going to copy it into seven because there are seven days of the week. Now, some people like to add a notes column, um, but that's totally up to you. I'm not gonna add a notes column. I'm just gonna make a plain and simple calendar. So one more. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the last square on the edge of the other purple line, and I'm going to create a optimum distance for all of my little squares, like so. Now you're just going to make sure that the distance between all of these is equal. It can take you a few seconds to figure that out, but it's really not that hard once you get a hang of it. It's going to become pretty easy. I'm just going to make sure they all look even. Another way to make sure that the distance between them is even is you could add like a alternating colored uh, square between them. So. I actually have it 0 0.9 and 0 0.9. I'm going to copy a square, so it's going to be Control c Control v I'm going to place this where it should be. And I'm going to change the color of this little square into blue. And I'm going to make it 0.5. So using this, I can determine if the distance between all of my squares is 0.5 or not. You can see over here that it is perfectly correct on almost all of them. This one was a bit off like so and now i'm just going to delete my blue square once you have optimized the distance you're going to select all of these squares like so and you're going to get this option of group on the top you're going to group them and what this does is it groups elements together so you can move these together and you can copy them together so once i've grouped them i'm just going to copy these and i'm going to place them down below like so like that so depending on when the month is starting, you can add four to, f four to six columns. Uh, I'm gonna opt for four because I think that looks the best. Now I'm just gonna make a equal distance between all of these rows like that. I'm gonna move this to the bottom and I'm gonna move it from the top purple line 
because we're leaving some space for the monthly calendar what we're going to write as our heading and our date and month or date and year so we're just going to move it down and you can also just copy and paste another row change the color so make it like whatever fancy color make it red and now you can just measure the distance between each of your little squares using the red distance and you can use those red blocks and redesign or just refine the distance between all of your squares so now we have perfected it and we're gonna delete the red row once you have done that you can change the color of your block so you're just gonna select them all and you're gonna click over here at the top left you can see and where you can change the color to whatever you like um, I'm actually gonna go and go for a pink color because I really do like pink and you guys probably do know that by now like so and now I'm gonna go in text and you're gonna select any kind of font that you like you can add one of these font combinations or you can just add a font a simple font and then change it according to your style so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add a heading I'm gonna write monthly calendar and now I'm going to change the font to something that would fit the look of my calendar. So just browse the different fonts that are available on Canva. Canva does provide you with a pretty good and decent library of fonts and images. So you don't really need to worry about that. You're going to probably find something you like pretty easily. It's not that difficult. Just keep on browsing. And I like this font actually now that i see it i really don't like it <laughs> yeah this looks good now i'm gonna resize it and i'm gonna move it to the top and i'm gonna move it exactly on the purple line now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just resize it to fit like so so it's placed directly onto the purple line it's centered over there now you can add a line underneath what i'm gonna do is I'm going to go back on elements and if you go back into lines and shapes you can see simple dotted lines I'm going to add a little dash dashed out line beneath that so I'm just going to make it shorter and I'm going to place it right underneath this heading now you can change the color to fit the overall look but I'm going to do that later first I'm going to add some more text so I'm just going to copy this text so I don't have to change the font what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write here and then I'm gonna write month and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a whole lot smaller and I'm just gonna place it right around here so now what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in to show you guys you're gonna go back into your elements and I'm going to select this kind of line that has like dots or diamonds at the ends or stripes at the ends. And I'm going to shorten it, copy it over there, zoom in to show you guys like this. Make sure it's at a zero degree angle. Now you're going to zoom out a bit to see if the line is too big or too thick. I think I'm going to make it slightly thinner. So I'm going to change the line weight from over here into 4 or maybe 3. And now I'm going to shorten the line and I'm going to move this over here. And now I'm just going to copy this line and place it right underneath as well. Now I think this line looks a bit too heavy. So I'm just going to really reduce the line weight so that it's very like a thin squeaky little line. It's not something that really bulges out too much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change the color of my calendar. What you're going to do is you are just going to select whatever you want to change. So first I'm going to change the color of these blocks and I'm going to change it into white. And you might be wondering if I've gone crazy. Well, don't worry about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color to a pink. So it's going to be a pink background with white spaces to write on and i'm going to go for a light pink that really pops out like so and now if you think that the squares look a bit too spaced out you can just increase their size as well 
uh, which is very easy to do they're all grouped together so just increase this like so and then move it to the center once more like so and now just to add a bit more of a designed look to your calendar i'm just gonna search for flowers or a flower and I'm gonna place it on the edge over here to just give it a cute little accent so just type flower in elements and drag down and see if you like anything and of course you can add as many different kinds of design elements as you want that's totally up to you but as a general basic calendar you are ready to go so I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video